One of the most common diseases of pine trees that you're going to see this, this time of year is Diplodia tip blight or Theropsis tip blight. And that's this, what we're looking at right here, where a lot of the new growth is going to be kind of brown or necrotic. And then we also have the, you can still see the gray sheath coming from the needle as well. And on this sheath, you can actually see a lot of the fungus that causes the Diplodia tip blight. The pycnidia or the fruiting bodies from the fungus are visible on these sheaths. Uh, pycnidia are also visible on the bottom ends of a lot of infected pine cones as well. This, is, uh, this disease commonly affects most, most sorts of pine trees, but Austrian pines are most susceptible to it. And like I had mentioned, it uh, mainly, it's mainly infects first year growth, but if it has been infecting the tree for long enough, you can see symptoms really throughout the tree. Lower branches often have the, the problems first, but again, if the problem has persisted for a little while, we might see symptoms further up in the canopy as well. And so if you have a pine tree that's displaying symptoms like this, the real question is, what can I do about it? And if it's early enough in the, in, in the, in the infection, pruning can, can decrease the, the amount of disease that you have. However, in Nebraska, especially if it's a high value landscape tree, we will recommend doing a fungicide application. In Eastern Nebraska, we recommend two fungicide applications. The first will be about the third week of April, with the second application being in that first or second week of May. But really, regardless of where you live, you'll want to time that first fungicide application with the bud breaks and as, these, as the needle buds are opening. Um, thiophanate methyl and propiconazole are two, uh, two chemicals that do well to control this fungus. And so if these are some of the symptoms that you're seeing on your pine trees, there's a good chance you're dealing with Diplodia tip blight.